OpenAI has released its ChatGPT API. That means machine learning experts, data scientists, and application developers can use responses from ChatGPT in their software applications. In this video, I am showing a simple example of how you can use ChatGPT API in your Python programs. Of course, to access the API, you will need an API key from OpenAI. I will first quickly show how we can get the API key. Then I will demonstrate the Python code. For the API key, please go to platform.openai.com. Sign up for an account. I already have an account. Here is the page that I see after I log in. Go to the menu and press Manage Account. It is showing the usage. I haven't used the API much yet. I have $18 of free trial grant, which will expire in a few months. ChatGPT API is ridiculously inexpensive. I am not going to explain the pricing. Please go to this site to find out the pricing for a certain number of tokens received via ChatGPT API. You can generate API keys in the API keys section. The button titled Create New Secret Key will create the API key. I already created one here. I copy this API key to my Python program. Here is a simple Python program I have written that uses the ChatGPT API. Import the package OpenAI. If it is not installed, you can use the pip install OpenAI command on the terminal or command prompt to install the package. The API we are using will return the response in JSON format. So it will be convenient to use the JSON package to parse the response. I have pasted the API key that I copied from the OpenAI account here as a string in the variable openai.api key. I created a variable named completion, which captures the JSON response of the OpenAI chat completion.create function. I specifically mentioned that GPT 3.5 Turbo model should be used. There are other models too, as explained in this link. In the messages parameter, I provide the query or the prompt. There can be several roles. I am using the user role. I am giving the actual query or prompt against this content field. I am asking what is a GAN in a DL? That is, I am asking what is a generative adversarial network in deep learning? Let's see if ChatGPT API can retrieve it from OpenAI. The completion variable is an object. If we print it, we will see the entire JSON response. In the next line, we are creating a JSON object by converting the completion object to a string. So X now contains the JSON elements in a structure from which we can retrieve information easily. I already did some digging into the JSON output and figured that choices, zero, message, content, this hierarchy would give the actual response text. Now I print the actual response text. Let us run the code and see what happens. This part is the JSON content returned from OpenAI. This is the actual answer content from the chat GPT API. This is under choices in index zero in the list, in messages and in the content field. We printed the content separately in the code, which is printed here. That is, the content part is retrieved from the JSON content and printed here by the last line of the code. You can use this part of the code under a user-controlled loop and allow the user to keep asking questions to the ChatGPT API. You now know how to connect OpenAI's ChatGPT with your Python code. You can do whatever you want with the responses you receive from OpenAI. Whatever you do, please make sure to use it responsibly for greater good. Thank you for watching.